We're celebrating Mother's Day this morning with Say Yes to You. Mahisha Dellinger is a powerhouse woman, founder of Curls Natural Hair Care, author of the book Against All Odds From Poverty to the Penthouse, philanthropist and wife, but most important, she's a mother of four, passing down the lessons she's learned and teaching her three daughters to value themselves. Are there two or three things that you do as a mother specifically to teach your girls to value themselves? Well, yes, it's all about being an example. Um, I have to be what they need to emulate. So from how I present myself in the world, um, my successes in life, but also how we balance my relationship with my kids and my husband, showing them that I don't sacrifice myself or my beliefs. And I want them to also be the same way. And also telling them about young men. I'm very, very forward about that. What to expect and that she may think that this young man has honorable intentions with her and likes her for who she is. But I have to be really honest to say some men, young men just want one thing. I'm very, very frank with them. But to let them know that they are better than what they have been presented because my girls are Dillingers and they're their mother's daughter and they deserve the world. So it's really about just candid, real conversations, but emulating what they should be. You know, people look at you and they think, oh my gosh, that woman is so confident. Hmm. She believes in herself so much. She values herself so much. And you've talked about how you weren't always that way. Well, I don't know if anyone from the wrong side of the railroad tracks or the projects as you call it, or the ghetto, whatever you wanna call it, could really feel good about where you are. You feel stuck. You feel like you don't have a way out. You feel like you don't have any tools, any resources, any access, a mentor, a vision, a dream that can actually live. You feel stuck. Like you can just either wallow in it and continue to regress and perpetuate what comes out of that environment or you change it, right? So I wasn't proud of it because I felt like it was a stigma. But later in life, I realized that where I came from actually created the person I am. It gave me grit perseverance, determination, and a strong sense of self and, and work ethic. Mahisha turned to pop culture to find a role model. I had a full vision board of where I wanted to be, and my role model, so funny, I mean, it sounds so juvenile now, but I had a picture of the Cosby Show. I wanted to be a professional woman with a professional man and lots of kids, and happy and without the worries of money. And what I did was I gave myself the option and the ability and the uh, okay to dream, really, the permission to dream. Positive self-talk was a tool for Mahisha. She's passing on to her kids. We put on their doors, all three of their doors, positive notes every day for them to internalize. We like support. what? You can do it. You're, you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're smart. By any means necessary, you'll make it happen. Just different things, whatever. Each one is customized because they're all different. For Bryce, it may be more about stepping out into faith and out of his you know, shell of being shy. And Izzy, it's really about not being so hard on herself because she's so hard on herself. For Kennedy, I want to remind her to love people. And so it's, we customize them based it's on It's like kid. their personal affirmations. Yeah, yeah, because we know the three of them differently, yeah. Alongside her determination, faith has been critical for Mahisha. I really do believe that I was able to get through all the things I went through as a teenager because I had faith in my work, walk with God, my prayer life, my praying mother, you know, from being kidnapped at 14 and raped, before, you know, before I even had sex, I was raped at gunpoint. That was young, young, young age. Um, from being pregnant and left by the father of my daughter, you know, to living in a community where we had drive-by shootings and, and home evasions and my brother in and out of jail and just seeing dysfunction in my family, my mother, witnessing her being beat by her boyfriend, I mean, to a pulp. I mean, I've seen things most people haven't seen. So the types of things you're talking about are things that would be easy to internalize, to be shamed about, and other women experience their own types of things that they have shame about. Mm -hmm. How would you tell someone not to feel shame about those kinds oh. of things. It's, kind of, it's really hard. Um, it's hard to say don't feel, but I could say instead, 
pray, meditate, whatever your beliefs are, because it takes sometimes a higher, higher being and higher power to get you through those tough times. It's not easy to do it alone. You need a support system of some sort to get through traumatic situations and issues in your life. I can't imagine to have, doing it without having my mom and having my faith in God and then having winded up meeting my amazing husband who has been everything. I couldn't have had such an amazing career and business and success without such a great partner. Can you talk about how embracing your authenticity, your natural hair, yes. is self-love? Oh, it's self-love at its at highest degree. The highest level of self-love comes when you love who you are, how you were born. And we're told and taught so many times that, no, you can't be that because it's not professional, or you can't look like that because it's not mainstream, or it's not beautiful. As a black woman, it was just now recently acceptable to have not straight hair, like to have curly, right. kinky, braided hair. So I thought, okay, I really need to love myself. And I wanted to just let my hair go and do what it does naturally. And that's why I created Curls, because as I did that, I didn't find a lot of options on the market for my natural hair. And so I created it. It was really my movement to self-love that get, got me to my moment of, of brilliance and legacy. I know you like to um, you like to take a vacation. Now, what do you do when you're just around here and you can't go anywhere, but you want to take care of Mahisha? Okay, well, I'm going on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm here, spa day. I disconnect and recharge. Um, spa day for me, I do also love, love, love um, going out to dinner with my husband, just one-on-one. -on -one. We pretend like we don't have any kids and we're just on a date. And we just met. That's so fun. We really, and we'll have a staycation. So you pretend like you don't have kids? Yes. Tell me, so tell me, tell me how that works. It's Mother's Day. Am I supposed to say that? No, that's, no, that's fine. Literally, though, what, what does that look like? Well, I, I get all dressed up and makeup done, hair done, everything. Such a cute outfit. But it starts with the preparation. And I'll have my driver take me to wherever we're going. He'll meet me there. So I'm there before him. And then we meet in the bar and we sit down and have drinks. I have a great time. Come home, we're charged together as a couple. What a fabulous idea. Yeah. Oh, I, I love, for these say yes to you things, I love meeting and talking to women like her yeah. and just getting inside her head. She is just such an amazing person in so many ways. So thank you, Mahisha. I know you're watching this morning and I really appreciate your time. So I have a question mm -hmm. for you. She gives advice to her daughters on valuing themselves. What's the best piece of advice your mom ever gave you? My mom gives a lot of advice. <laughs> um, uh, you know, she's really career focused, really financially focused. <laughs> right. So she would say have multiple streams of revenue. Oh, that's good. Um, be financially independent so right. that you're in a job or in a relationship because you want to be, not because you have to be. And the final one, Jane, what? Get it what? in writing. <laughs> That's good. Probably tells you a lot about my mom, right? How about you? Um, probably that she made me made me clean my room do every every Saturday. I, and it got me into good habits. That routine. I mean, yeah, that routine. But I, love that. I swear, I think I am your mom. Um, oh, oh yeah. when we talk about this, yeah. the final thing I wanted to say about that piece, I loved she lit up talking with the date nights with Wasn't the hubby. Cute? What yeah. a great idea. Yeah. Up, and I like that you go separately. Kind of sexy, I like that. I, I thought it was too. Mm -hmm. She brought it up even if it was Mother's Day. Anyway, Yay. it was great. Thank you so much.